Green game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut season, North Top, you stop breathing. Uh, we got a you know card uh, this weekend. If anybody's interested in, and there's uh, PBC on Amazon Prime uh, for free, no pay per view, none of that. No uh, pump fakes, no pump fakes. In Illinois Orlando, I I'm surprised. In Florida, yeah, and they just didn't. Yeah. Put it on the yeah. They one dollar tickets. They put it on the yeah, other yeah, side. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, we one dollar tickets. I'm like, god damn. Yeah, and we got the return of uh, Tim Zoo. Uh, so we, we saw we saw him in the, in the opening for uh, Amazon Prime. So now we see him again, uh, and he's going to be taking on uh, Bakram Murtazaliev for the uh, who is the IBF champion at 154. So we got a title fight. The last time we saw uh, Tim Zhu, he was uh, the uh, unfortunate uh, loser in that fight with uh, Sebastian Fundora, where his head was, you know. Head busted open and yeah, <laughs> it cost him that cost him the match. So it is what it is. So you, now you, you charge head first in the elbows. It happens. <laughs> it happens. So only the zoo. <laughs> yeah, of course. But uh, he'll be facing Merzaliev. He'll it'll be a title fight, IBF title. Um, I did see that um, Zoo is now back with his pops. So that's, that's dope. That's dope. He didn't announce. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Cassius? Like his father? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I, it's the only father I know of. Too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had to make sure, bro. I think that, you know, you know, niggas be claiming anyway. Yeah, like, you know, that's yeah, it, bro. That's it, it'll be in attendance. I mean, he, he, he did. I just saw a little clip where Zeus said his father's going to be in attendance for this one. So yeah, he was, he was helping him train and all that. Like, yeah. yeah. So I mean, it, it, it was good to see them back on speaking terms and back with the, he's training with him because it's like your father is fucking Costa Zoo. Why wouldn't you want to? He's arguably the best. He's arguably the best 140 pound boxer of all time. Arguably, you know, he's one of the best 140 pounders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like top five. So he's like, come on. I don't, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting because it's like it always seemed like Tim wanted to get away from his father's shadow. But it's like that's your father, man. You can't like not avoid. I think, but I think Tim started another. I think like the thing was Costa started another family and, and was in some Asian country or some shit. He wasn't I'd say he abandoned them. He was you know he's you know he was there for them. But he he's like I got, I got a new bitch in a new family, bro. Uh, but you know I love y'all. <laughs> yeah, but then it's like okay, like shit. Do I do I do I go where my pops is at and and and, and start my career where he at or? Do I kind of just do my own thing over here? And like, I guess Australia, he did his own. Australia got a big market. You know, Australia got a big market. Yeah, so, yeah. You, had, you had to stay in Australia, right? I mean, you had to stay. Well, no, no, no. He, I mean, he, he could have stayed. but yeah, He, he, he could have went to Russia or wherever. It cost oh, yeah, Russia. Like, it was in Russia or some shit, right? Yeah, maybe not. Maybe. Remember, you a certain, when you were a certain level in the sport, a certain name, certain status, like, you could pretty much start your career anywhere if you're with that person or if you're there. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm sure if, if Floyd Mayweather decided to train some hungry young guy, hungry young guy in fucking um in the Himalayas, in the Himalayas, I don't think niggas would be like, you know what? I think he needs to go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, nah, we're just like, Whoa. I mean, Floyd's with him. They get like, but y'all niggas know. I mean, we watch sometimes we watch some of those Australia late night fights, the No Limit. Them shits is looking cracking. You know, like they got they love boxing. You know, so yeah, they got they got their little thick pog uh, uh refs. I mean, all uh, uh, yeah, they got you know, they got um, Pilot. <laughs> they got shout out to King P. You know, the guy looks like Kevin Owens, that one promoter, the dude looks like Kevin Owens, straight up. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Peter Rose, oh. some, some Rose, but yeah, yeah, but no, I'm, so I get it. It, it's good. I mean, I remember I played basketball up to high school. Like I played better when my pops wasn't there. So hopefully Tim don't don't have a, a stinker. I used to play better when I know my pops wasn't. You know, my mom might be looking why, for why? Was your, was your yeah, why? Yeah, give us a fucking reason, no, bro. He, he was he was training me how to play ball. So you know, he trained me to play ball. You know, like when I was yeah, young was, and anything. Was he was he one of those that heckled on the, in the stand? No, he was he was yeah. He, not heckled, but he would. He, he's he's a loud he's a loud dude. So he would you know like. You know, just, just AKA he was a heckler. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. It's yeah, 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 yeah. This nigga, yeah. nigga, damn. Yeah, stop dancing around. Would, I'm, Are I'm, you I'm, dancing I'm, around with the rock you know, like that? I, I, I dropped twenty like not when he's not there. When he's there, though, I'll be struggling. So I don't know. But hold on. So hold on. Wait. What's you average when he's there? I mean, like I get a good fit. 13, 15 points. But when he's out there, I can get easy twenty. You know what I'm saying? But when not when he wasn't there, you know what I mean? So. 
Oh, right. so when he's there, you you be think you be well, second no, guessing no, no, about like, six points. But as I got older, like as I got older, it was like you know when I was like you know junior and stuff, it was it was easier. It was it was little, it was easier by then. But yeah, but but my point is like when I saw Tim Zhu, when he lost that fight to Fundora, I felt like okay, this guy the way he answered the questions, he's gonna come out for blood his next fight. You know what I mean? He's gonna come out for blood and go for you know because he was literally covered in blood you could hear the, the hurt you know you want you don't want to lose your zero like that you don't want to lose your zero in a, in a disputed where you know you're gonna stop that guy but you're getting fucked up uh, um so yeah <laughs> 12 fucking rounds for sure now if you know what we know now you know because remember it was supposed to be tim zuber's virgil ortiz tim zuber probably would have blasted ortiz out see i'm just saying like if we know, oh, we know no you what you smoking hold nigga? On, hold on hold on I don't know. Wait, whoa, whoa. Yo, come on, come on. Virgil whoa, Ortiz got whoa. dropped three times. He got dropped three times versus the... It never had hold on, wait, dropped three before. times? Hold on, hold on. Hear me out. Virgil Ortiz fought two guys that should not even fought a 154. And you're fighting the guy, Tim Zhu, coming off a tough loss who has the best 154 um, resume in boxing besides Jamel Charlo? I mean, what are you talking about? Yeah, I think... Well, Tim but, but, Zhu, hold on, Ortiz has a good resume, too, though. Not on 154. He, he, don't, he fought two random African niggas that are jobbers at 154. That's all he fought. At one, besides I'm talking about all total. Like... I'm, talking about, I'm talking about... We were hyped for that fight more than Bud Madrimov. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so but looking what yeah, I mean, now, Bud I, Madrid, who the fuck was wanted to see that? I'm a Bud fan, and but you it's, know, it's, the, Bud, yeah. it's the style. Like Virgil's style was just like, like that's what it comes out to the, the style. That's a hell of no, a. It would have been a, a great. Dude, fight. Why, why you think Crawford ain't really like don't really want the Virgil Ortiz fight like that? Like, cause that's a hard fucking night of work, bro. Oh, yeah, you, people sure. can say. Oh, he could win. Oh, he'll win that. He'll beat it. Nah, but I, it's nah, like, nah. nah. <laughs> Crawford would beat Virgil Ortiz. Uh, like, but it's a good fight. It's a good fight. Yeah, dude, dude, like, I'm not 100% sure he's confident in that. But yeah, Bud is like 36. What's the risk? You know, why take the risk? I get it. But whatever. Yeah, right. t- dude, I don't know if he even want the risk like that. Because look, if these niggas was easy work like that, a Virgil Ortiz and Bud pay per view, that's money. That print money. Do that shit in Texas, that makes money. But that's a hard fucking fight for Crawford. That's harder than a Madrimal fight. It's a young gun. It's a young gun. I don't know if it's hard. It's a, it's a young gun fight. It is, hard. dude. Madri- look, Madrimal is just juking in all that athleticism and shit. Madrimal one of those fights I where... I know it's but Madrimal was about to beat Bohachuk, I felt like. You know, Bohachuk probably beat Virgil Ortiz. Y'all talking about Virgil Ortiz? Y'all talking about Virgil Ortiz nah, didn't, didn't, didn't get a gift. Virgil didn't get a gift. Did he get a gift? No, he didn't. He didn't get a gift. Did he he did. Get a gift. Why? Dude, look, look, look. look. I you can't Ortiz win won. rounds. Ortiz you can't win fight. decisions. And you keep getting hurt. I don't think he won that fight. He ain't win that fucking fight. And and then like and then like the promoter said, like, if y'all niggas truly believed in y'all fighter, y'all would have fucking put the rematch clause in there. But y'all niggas wanted more money and y'all was acting like divas and all that other bullshit. And now look, you lost a close fucking fight. But hey, you're gonna fight Crawford's leftovers next. The guy that everybody's saying is so fucking great, but then it looked great. It's a good call, man. Uh, no, Madra Bolchuk's a really good call, man, for that. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, absolutely. 154 is heating up. I wish I wish Bud was more active, you know, Spence from Dora. There's a lot of, you know. The fights are too fuck. Look, look, man. Y'all don't get it. Look. the These next round of fights are too fucking, like, difficult. Like, they're hard fights. And they're There's not. No they're like, they're, they're money fights, but they're hard money yeah. fights. Yeah. And Crawford ain't gonna just be jumping in them shits like that. I'm telling and you. See, and I can see why Ennis doesn't want to all you know go to 154 like we all want him to because there's no, there's no soft touches at, at 54. There's no soft touches. Then that's the problem with him because dude, we keep saying he that nigga, and if nothing happened in that 147. Go to 154. Like these motherfuckers, and, and that's the problem. Everybody keeps saying these niggas is good. They good. They great. This could do, but it's like okay, y'all got work, but nobody's running up for work. Yeah. At least you taking like the work. Like like a nigga like Charles Conwell is a, a top ten, but if you give him a chance in the right win, he could be a top two, top no, three. But, I'm just saying there's like you know, there's but, like I mean that. I mean we can't like at, at some point and I like Conwell a lot. I think he's super talented, but we at, at some point it's show and prove. He's gotta get these these fights. Like he's gotta give him a chance. He has to like, get in the mix somehow. Like make people it, spit on boots, but goddamn. I know like, we'll make it, but him versus Virgil, they're both on Golden Bowl would be a fight. Like, Fire fight. 50 50. I mean, all these that's fights a good are- fight, but I feel like Virgil already need to be fighting bigger fights, and Conwell is more like he need that fight before Ortiz. 
Yes, but, but a yeah, bigger Nicole name hasn't had that. He hasn't had that. I mean, he's fought on pay per view on the under undercard, but he hasn't. He hasn't had, met. Like, met yeah, Victor Ortiz does have the big fight experience. For sure. I, 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 and having a fight how, Ortiz how, is like doing Lubin against Charlo. How long? Nah, can nah, you, nah, nah, but nah. the thing is, the thing is, like for Conwell, how long can you tread water before we? expect to fucking give a shit like at this point it's just like okay it's okay you're at this level we expected you to be over here at this point already and it's like you're not so and he signed a, when he signed uh to a new promotion i thought okay he's gonna get some fights you know it's gonna be a grad a gradual progression and then we'll get to see him in some of these significant fights that we want to see him in. but it just hasn't happened it's like okay, you you I mean, had that last fight. Boy fucking that up or something. Yeah, you had that last fight against Gallimore, and it's like all right, you beat him up. Now we want to see you again, and it's like okay, now it's back to being milk cart status. There's only there's only so many times you could be on a milk cart before I give a fuck. Well, so and so is missing. So and so was missing a fucking month ago. Oh well, I, I didn't want to fuck. Yeah. Obviously, he don't want to be found if that's the case. Who gives a shit? Like, bro, like, get the. We need these fights from him already. So I'm not going to add him to the mix when he hasn't yeah. shown that he should be added. No, no, I, I'm just saying, there's like, what I'm saying is there's no soft touches. So a guy that's top 10, borderline top 10 in the weight, even like, even uh, what's the, kid, the Puerto Rican kid from, uh, what's the Puerto Rican kid from New York? Nice. No, sorry, no, 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 no. I know he's on this card. No, I'm talking about um the one um, on, on, on top rank. His name is eluding my, my, my memory right now. The um the Puerto Rican the, the Puerto Rican kid uh fuck the one Bob Aram was trying to push on um, um, the Puerto Rican one fifty five Zayas look yeah Zayas Zayas I Zayas. just yeah. said that oh my, oh, my uh, fault I couldn't hear I couldn't hear you my fault he, he clearly I, fucking I, said I, it I, too I, I thought you said jealous and then we looked at you weird <laughs> afterwards I'm like, like wait what Puerto Rican what other Puerto Rican yeah, 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 my bad, am my I bad, missing yeah, yeah, yeah. like what I know what I said I thought you said tell like, like, the Lord yeah. is making a comeback I don't know <laughs> but even yeah but I'm saying my nigga like Zayas like you know he's a top 15 in the weight top 12 but I mean he just that he's not really a soft touch for a guy too I'm just saying there's like but he's been taking a while too like all these look Carnival and Zayas they they really need to like take a step up now the problem like, honestly is, that's a good fight to make 155 it's weird because some of these guys are try, or either they or their team are trying to move them at a snail's pace, but it's like this is not the division where you can move somebody in yeah, a snail's yeah, pace. Either, yeah. either go to one, you gotta be ready to go. Or, yeah, go to one sixty or get it because you're either going to be left behind or you're going to run into somebody that's going to step on you. So either yeah. way, <laughs> you can't you you can't avoid people for very long. Yeah. yeah so, but out, yeah. this is going to be a good fight. Uh, what y'all think about this fight? I, 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 me personally, I think Zoo gets him out of there. Mirzali is a tough fighter, but he gonna see that there's levels, and Zoo is just a, a higher level than Mirzali. I think he okay, this Zoo can punch, and he's physically strong. He's big, heavy guy. You talking about Mertz? Yeah. Yeah, he's about um, six foot. He's six foot. He's tall, tall, big, big for the weight. Really big for the weight. Tall for the weight. I don't know if Zoo stops him. If he does, it might stop him late. I think he stops him like around the eighth round, like eighth ninth round. I could see that. I could see going toward that. Yeah, like I don't think it'll be no. I don't really see it being stopped before eighth. I just think I just think Zoo like Zoo's style is a lot for like a guy like Murdzalia, who's like, okay, he could take he could he's durable, he could take punches, but a little slower. Not, yeah, slower, slower, he's slower, and he's he's gonna be there to be hit. He's gonna try to fight with. With uh, with Zoo, but he's gonna play right into Zoo's hands, and Zoo's gonna pressure him, and he's gonna be hitting him, and he he could weather it for a little bit, but there's only so much you can take from a guy like Zoo with the with the ferocity that he fights at. Like he throws yeah, everything. Let's punch with Zoo. He could do that too. You could do that, but I think he gets him out of there. I think Zoo gets him out of there in like the eighth round. What 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 you think, uh, LB? What's your uh, prediction? I, I could see that maybe maybe tenth. Um, I feel like dude might surprise us too. I feel like this actually might be a, a good little damn war that we're like kind of sleeping on with, with dude. Um, because he he the champion, he got the belt. You know, he might not ever get another opportunity like this. So, uh, I. 
Mm. I'll probably say Zoo by decision. I feel like we're going to get like a, a, a war. And the thing is with Zoo, even though I know he had the cut and everything with Fundora, like we've seen guys with nasty cuts, you know, still win fights, knock dudes out. And it's just, he he never really could adjust under that circumstance to really get Fondora. Well, I, I, I oh, agree. That blood was crazy, bro. Well, I, I, I agree. It was, but come on, bro. Like, how long have we been watching Boston? So, so I, I agree. And I think part, part of that is actually, for once, Fondora fought the right game plan that he should have. He, he did? He, he finally he uses did. finally he finally used his length. He I finally think, I know he's like blind as a bat, but he finally used his length. But I felt right? like he had the confidence to that because he had the right circumstance in front of him. But we all saw the first three rounds. Tim Zoo was gonna knock him out by five or six or seven. Zim I mean Zim. <laughs> Tim was posted Tim was pe piecing him up, no doubt. But he wasn't like it was more of a piecing him up. He wasn't breaking Fundora down. And that's the difference. If he would have been breaking Fundora down in those three rounds, then maybe he would have had a better chance later. All he was showing was he could piece up Fundora. But nigga, anybody could piece up Fundora. We've seen him get pieced up a bunch of times. But he couldn't go beyond that. That's that's the thing. Like the end of the round before the cut. I'm just saying the end of the round before the cut. He hit him with some overhand right that fucking that, that shit looked like it was uh yeah, he was him. He was like but we all I'm saying is we've seen Fondora like this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like Zoo ain't do nothing that we didn't think he could do. The fact is it's like even though he was you still couldn't do nothing like that again. It's not like he was working the body and doing all that shit and just beating on him to where it's like, okay, like no, he didn't do none of that. So, so it's hard, like, I mean, like, I don't know if he could just stop this guy. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he do. He could, he, it's possible, but I'll pick Zoo by decision. Okay. I, I think Zoo probably just gonna weather that shit, or, or Zoo might hurt him, but can't get him out of there. Like, remember Gucci stood there with him? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, Pilot, what you think? What's what, what's your uh, prediction? So yeah, you going back. Um, I, I'm kind of in between. Pause. I'm kind of in between y'all. I, I think I could see it being a war because uh, Merch is is a big. You know, he's like a million better beef out there. He's, a, he's big for the weight. Big for a 160. Uh, you know, he's not the strongest puncher. He's decent. Um, but for some reason, I just think with the data and attendance and everything, Tim is gonna gonna come out for blood and knock and knock out Merch. Um, and I will say probably around six. Damn. Yeah, I think it'll be. You know, I, I mean, because it, it, I mean, you know, this guy, like, Tim Zoo, you know, I, I think he's. I, I, at 154, to me, he he's the toughest fight for Bud, unless he loses somehow in the top. Sorry, I'm just saying, I think at 154, Tim Zoo is, is, is. He's been. He was arguably had one of the best fight, uh, best resumes of that year, of last 2023. You know what I'm saying? Just the names he beat. Uh, I don't think know. Zoo has better defense than Virgil Ortiz. That's the difference to me. I think, uh, I like Zoo gets hit way more. I, like, I don't know. Like, I saw Virgil Ortiz get dropped three times in the last fight, so I don't know. I, I'm not gonna. Was he dropped three times or two times? Twice. Tw get him dropped two times is bad enough. Twice. So. Twice. Yeah. So how the fuck you keep saying three times, nigga? Scroll up because that nigga was nigga was was slipping around the floor four or five. There was a there was a couple <laughs> where like he got hurt. No, what the, what the fuck <laughs> is this, yo? <laughs> Anyways, he got dropped what twice. What is so, this? No, uh, anyways, uh, my point is, I saw um, Virgil Trees get dropped twice in his last fight, so I don't know if he has better defense than Tim. That's all. He gets hit more. Zoo, Zoo gets hit more than fucking Virgil Ortiz. I, I saw Zoo get dropped the first time in America in the first 30 seconds, and I didn't see him get dropped since. I, I've seen uh, last fight, I just saw Virgil Ortiz get dropped twice. Interesting. I mean, yeah. I yeah, it's just an interesting. I, I can't really even like that's. Just... So you said six round. Okay, I, I, that's kind of early. But... I know you said eight, right? You said yeah. eight. Yeah, six. I'm, I'm, I'm being a little overzealous. I mean, I maybe eight ish really, yeah. but I don't want to give the same answer as you. So. I, I think, I think six. You're like, I think six is when the firefights. The I'll say seven. Like, Fuck it, I'll the, say the seven. height of a firefight. Seven or nine? Seven. Yeah. I'll say seven. Fuck it, seven. Not seven. Five. 
No, all good. Six, seven, nine, eight. It's gonna be a good fight either way. The zoo dude, just like his pops, be running in the fucking punches. Like I didn't see Virgil Ortiz run into a fucking elbow. <laughs> Yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, you told yeah, yeah. And we're gonna say it about the knockdowns. I ain't see a nigga ever just run into an elbow. Shit. Yeah. Like that's like running into a fucking tree when you got the bag hanging from the tree and you just run into the branch. Yeah, that's right. Like how the fuck that happened? No, definitely. But yeah, it, whoever it is at one fifty four, like Crawford got a tough fight. Whether it's between. Uh, uh, Zoo or Virgil Ortiz or whoever else out there, Pandora. Well, Pandora. So, we'll, we'll Pandora is about the easiest fight, but we don't know him unless after the Spence fight. So, we'll we'll see. I mean, um, well, we could get into we can segue into that for a little bit. Um, the uh, because Pandora and Spence have agreed to a fight, but no date, anything like that is announced. But it's gonna be interesting because, uh, because th- he made the all he made because he had to. Had ordered the mandatory with Crawford, and they negotiated to just step aside or just get it at a later date or whatever. And now Fedora's supposed to be fighting Spence, but the thing is, WBO is not going to let that fight happen for their belt because he's not in the top fifteen, Spence. So how? how uh, is he gonna have to drop the belt if he fights Spence? Or? Well, well, yeah. Well, Bud does have the IBF. In, I mean, W. Sorry, the WBO interim. You know, he has it. He he clearly has it, and it seems like it's just he's gonna drop it, right? You know, because WBO got Bud's back. He's been, he, you know, he was, you know, whatever Bob Borders, right? He's been out with Bob Arum, and he was a WBO champ for over a decade. So it's like more than likely, if Spence Fedora happened, is this gonna be for WBC? More than likely, you know no, it'll be for the WBC. But, but I'm saying, so, I mean, Fundura will basically drop the WBO belt. It seems like that. Because, you know, WBO got Bud's back. You know, that's why. Remember remember the fight with um uh, with Tim Zoo and Keith Thurman? It wasn't going to be for a title, right? Because it was WBO. Yeah, no. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Thurman, wasn't, Cause Thurman wasn't in there. So, WBO. And they're looking out for, in a sense, for Bud, you know? Because Bud, doesn't Bud right now have the, no, Bud got WBA. But Bud's he's, about to get WBA. He has WBA, but he's also, I think, the... He's, he's also, interim. He's, he's interim, interim, yeah. yeah. Basically, there was a thing where if the fight's not made this year, I don't know if it's the same now what would happen, but if the fight wasn't made by this year, then Crawford becomes up the full champ. That that that's what it was supposed to be. But I don't know what with the with the new development. I think they fight in January or or, or early February. I, I, I don't I, mind I, it because it gives Fondora a chance to get another payday. And if he's not good enough to beat Spence, <clears throat> then he wasn't going to be competitive with Crawford, which a lot of people knew. That's why, honestly, that's the reason why a lot of people were pissed Spence getting the fight because it's the easiest winnable fight for Crawford, but they want him to get that belt. I favor Spence. Like, I mean, you know, if Spence punch resistance is not gone. I'm favor I see. I I have. I think I've, I've said this before. I'm very I, like iffy about that simply because I've always said that I think Spence stylistic wise. Spence has the style to beat uh, Fundora to die because that's a bad style for Fundora, but it's the, the, all the other issues that Spence has. You don't have a trainer still, a nigga. Don't still don't have a trainer. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, I don't know if he doesn't have a trainer if he hasn't announced it, but like all the wear and tear, and Spence isn't all there. He's already talking about retirement soon, so it's like all that. I'm not sure how much he has left in the tank. He might be retired, to be honest. We might never see him fight again. No, he's not. Nah, he's it's not. He's gonna fight Fundora. It's like yeah. Office, this would be worse crazy, if they don't hours. fight. This would be worse than Vitaly. This would be worse than Lennox Lewis holding up the whole goddamn heavyweight division in in the year two thousand and three with the Vitaly rematch that never happened. That's a crazy twenty month layoff after after the Crawford beating your ass like you've never been beating her. That, that's wild. I, I mean, he's had enough time off, and this is now what's real. crazy is the nigga who beat him only fought once after that. That's crazy. Like, why not capitalize off that performance and fight another big fight after that? That's crazy to me. No, he just decided, you know what? I'm just going to fight once, and the rest of the time, I'll be doing a victory lap. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I wish Bud, you know, as a, as a huge, you know, I'm, a, I'm probably the biggest Crawford fan on, on there, maybe me and Pat, but I, I wish Crawford was still a more active fighter, and because 154, when he, an active Crawford would be fine, and mixing with, with who they got, but it's like, he well, wants, you know, he hasn't huh? been active. 
You guys, you know, he's not gonna be. He's not gonna be. Act, I mean, you know, like when was the last I wish time that nigga ever acted? When was the last time he fought more than one city? I feel like we have to ask this for every fucking fight. For every for every top level fighter, it seems like uh, except you know, in a way, Crawford turned into better beef. Oh, yeah, both these niggas but, got but, decisions, but then they always got you know, niggas out. Sure that the nigga wants to Canelo payday, and now he's doing the McGregor. He wants. I know he kind of probably does want because really it's only going to take one or two more fights to be undisputed for the, at 154 third time. But, but they're know, hard fucking but they're hard fights. fights you know nigga. But all it needs, I mean, like all he needs is for Zoo the, the Zoo winner and the Spence winner if they fight each other and he forget he gets one more fight because he's going to have two belts. He can he, undisputed. But I know he really wants that Canelo or talk about the McGregor bullshit. He wants. I don't know, and, this, and let's be honest, if Ortiz stays at 154 and he stays undefeated. I don't think Crawford could retire from that. But could retire and leave that right there. The, doesn't doesn't Ortiz got like a, a interim belt or some shit or, or something or he go in WBC interim? He's WBC. Like I mean, like nah, like you. Uh, I, mm. I really wish this whole fucking uh, Crawford Canelo wasn't a thing. A me stupid. too. Me too. I mean, yeah, I, get, I get he wants that payday, but I hope it doesn't happen. I hope I hope it never happens, but. But it's taking too long to not ever happen because it's like it could happen in May. You know what I'm saying? The chance it could happen. That's not May. happening in May. It's not <laughs> in May. Bro, like in that's too much space from the fucking cup to the lip, my nigga. Like May? <laughs> like it, like ah, bro. <laughs> well, you know, because Canelo fights in May on May Day, you know what I'm saying? He fights on, on a motherfucker on might fight Eubank Jr. in the UK in May, nigga. Or no, there's rumors Canelo might be fighting Japan. You see him in a way and shit that's strong. There's like, oh, like my God. <sighs> y- y'all so see who, it. who would be the undercard? Yeah. If you're the monster, you're not gonna fight underneath fucking Canelo. Pause. He, he probably uh, in, in a way probably would. He probably no, fuck he would. No, I respect. Yeah. Really? It's probably what happened. Wait, 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 wait. The guy who's legit. Not ducking any of his contenders and mandatory and champions is going to fight under on the on the undercard of a nigga who's you know, been ducking, man, nigga, ducking his biggest the, fight for two Japanese years. Culture, you know, what the Japanese culture do? They bow. They will show respect. They want Canelo to make, make fuck make, all that, man. I mean, I mean, you can show all the respect you want, but he shouldn't be on his undercard. What the fuck? He shouldn't. But the one know, guy who's doing boxing right. No, it's gonna be on the know, undercard. Uh, if you want to go both ways, uh, come on, man. Canelo has a great resume and fought Floyd Mayweather and fought great fighters. Uh, uh, like what? Years uh, ago, nigga. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like you're talking about, like you're talking about a full term legacy. Uh, uh, look, 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 look. Boxing is too awesome. Look, remember, like recency bias goes both ways. It could be positive. It could be negative. With Canelo, it's a fucking negative. This man has literally Doug Benavidez so long benavidez moved to another weight class and another nigga had to go to chase benavidez did you see where this is going like uh, like and this is what's happening like uh, these we, niggas we call them like all time yeah no for sure he's ducking so dude so to run across and go to another country and, and fight and, and fight some other nigga fight marada <laughs> it was oh. some bullshit underneath the damn the star of that country Who's fighting fucking big fights? I just don't. I, who that wins in that situation? That doesn't make any sense. To me, right? Any sense at all? Like, and and I and I agree with King P. Like the Canelo Crawford shit. I hate that it's a fucking thing. Like it just ne- like neither of these niggas last couple fights even look that great to even be like okay. And there's too much work. Like. Like Crawford got boots. Okay, boots at one forty seven. Blah blah blah. We get that. Fuck that fight. You got all this work at one fifty four. Shit, he could make a big fight out of one sixty if he wanted to. In, in that situation, he's a name. So, in Canelo, you duck. It's like, bro, like, like niggas is hurting both individual divisions. Worried about this fight. That, that's why I don't really like it. Like, like. Crawford Spence eventually happened, but at least it was two niggas in the division, and we saw how that stalled everything. And look at the aftermath. What's going on at 147? That was like, these niggas need to just start fighting more, like, often and more meaningful, like, that's why niggas don't even care about these divisions no more, like. 
Yeah, no, things, uh, I'm just I'm tired of it. But yeah, at, at least we're getting the, the battle with the Davids next. So I, I hope yeah. I, have, I have an inclination it's gonna fall through, but I hope not. I hope I hope, I hope what? Nah, no, I just what do you mean? Like these niggas posted that shit. I know they posted that. I'm just saying, a lot of fights been posted that has happened. I'm hoping it happened. I'm just saying. And what what reason do you? What I don't know. I don't know. I just I'm just hoping. So it you don't know. Oh, so you're just being a cynic just for the. I, I, I'm just being a cynic. I'm kind of like bad or some shit. Like, I'm being a glass half empty. I'm being a glass, I love the fight. I I I, I, I want the fight. I'm saying I, I'm a glass half empty for that one because. Oh I, I just, God. He can I, mess I, fucking. Well, I want it, man. Tyler is being a cynic for just for the sake of being a cynic. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah, like you jaded for no reason. What did boxing do to you, nigga? It's like, what? Like, like, watch it for you. And it's not like, hold up. And it's not like the David, neither of them have like, neither of these guys have a track record of pulling the rug from underneath us. Like, no, 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 they don't, so, they don't, they don't. Well, at least Benavidez not recently. Yeah. So what you do know, we do? We, we remember weight gain yeah. and coke no, no, I, I yeah. hear these theories from quote unquote Morel fans that they think Benavides is it doesn't really want to fight him. You know what I'm saying? He's, but why? Oh, but nah, after the hot one fight, look, Morel ain't look, look, fight, after Morel ain't look good fight, like that to yeah, be running from, from this yeah. fight. But after the last fight, I'm not hearing it as much. But I heard it a lot before that Morel that Benavides don't want to do with Morel because you know. Well, yeah. Well, this fight has gotten bigger because time has passed and yeah. Canelo was still ducking. That's yeah, why I, I think I think he just finally um I think Benavidez just finally realized I'm not gonna fucking chase this motherfucker. Yeah, he's he pussy. Wants. I'm gonna just I'm gonna move on. And if he wants to fight me, then he knows where to find me. But until then, I'm gonna just do I'm just going forward with my career. And he's fighting the guy that he's not treating because you got a guy like Morel. Morel was looking at David the way David was looking at Canelo. Mm. So mm. Benavidez wasn't gonna wasn't gonna little man him. And he's like, you know what? Fuck it. I ain't scared of you. Let's make this. And even out. Benavidez earned his shot with Canelo more than Morel earned the shot at Benavidez. If if we're being honest, yes, yeah, you, yeah you, for sure. And Mark, that's right. what that's what makes Benavidez look like a fucking G. Because yeah, you know, he I still like doesn't have to. Because look, if Benavidez didn't take this fight, nobody would have. We it. couldn't blame him. He didn't have to. He didn't have to. He didn't have to. So I hope he didn't have to. And honestly, I, and, and I got to agree with King P on this, but the whole, like, Benavidez realized it, that, like, yo, I ain't going to chase this guy no more. I mean, I think the last punch he landed on, the last person who was chasing ben chasing Canelo more than he was, he realized that shit. What, you talking about the Andra? Exactly. Hmm. If you beat the nigga who was chasing after the nigga, you been wanting to fight longer than you been chasing after him? You realize, like that nigga wanted a decade before. Longer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's just be honest. Jamel Jamel Charlo just hit, hit the nigga lottery with that. Yeah. He just was in the right place, right time, right win. And now all of that. Now there's some like I know it's past expiration, but I am hearing that uh, Jamal Charlo and Andrade might be happening on the table. No, no, yeah. not happening. No. That ain't uh, gonna happen. Like he, he is gonna see it happening next year, but I not see, like. I right see, right no, 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 hold on, hold on, no, because wasn't it? It was posted that Jamal is fighting uh, Cornflake. Thomas yeah, but Corn, Corn, yeah, Cornflake kind of halfway denied it. Cornflake kind of said yes, but kind of said no. So it's like, what the fuck? You kind of said you, you posted it. What is that? <laughs> How the fuck do you say yes but no? Like no, I, he, he had an interview on T on T on the box of voice where he wasn't he wouldn't say he, that it was happening. And well, he already posted it, basically saying it on fucking Twitter. Yeah, so, like confirming it. So, I mean, that would be a fight. That's so weird. Shit. That's like, hey, yo, you, I need you to work over. You, you, you want overtime? He's like, I mean, I need the money, but I got things to do. Uh, like, yes or no, nigga? <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, listen, I, I'm not sure if Jamal should even be in a boxing ring, but you know what? It is what it is. But uh, let's see what he looks like this time yeah. around. But yeah, uh, that Andre fight is not happening anytime soon. But, but you know, I mean, I, I guess it's how you match Jamal. Like niggas just need to kill the plant fight though. Like and plant, he looking more like a bully in this situation. Keep hyping the fight up because it's like you got Berlanga, Mungia, you got way other fights, and to even yeah. mention Jamal Charlo. Like, yeah, he pulled your beard. You slapped him twice. And from what I heard, the cameras only got the what? lesser slap. 
the the real bad slap the cameras didn't even get, nigga. Yeah, cornflake, corn pop, and the corn dude and Jamal already um apologized on live like months. Uh, I think a year later, like. And he knew he fucked up and all of that. And it's like, bro, like, that's not a big fight for you. Like, just, just drop it. Like, there's other niggas out there. Yeah. Nah, I get it. Like, getting it. I don't even, no one should be mentioning Maul for no fight. If he does, let let him come out with the fight. But all, all in, and if he does, you know it's at a level that he's supposed to be competing at. But all this fight Andre, plan, all these other niggas, no. Like, I'm not even taking that serious because it shouldn't be a fight. Yeah, nah, it yo, is, yo, real quick, is anybody on the undercard? Nobody else really fighting. Like that's just um. Uh, the, the guy Tellez, dude, Tellez, dude. Tellez, t- yo, and is the yo, only guy. Yo, and is the one that Shoot. killed Sergio Garcia. The one that, but he's fighting some random. Cold, I'm sorry, oh, he's yeah. fighting a can. That he should KO. You he should. Yeah, he's fighting a can. But I, 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 I like him. He's he's got some talent. So. Yeah, but yeah, other, yeah. other than that, there's nobody else on the undercard that I'm really. Oh, I gotta see this person. So, oh it wow, is, and, and it's regular people time. It's not Australia. Oh, it's, it's in Miami. It's in Miami. Yeah, so yeah. It's in, oh, no, it's in Orlando. 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 Yeah, I was gonna say don't, don't say that because she. she <laughs> would have put up if it was in the. If it was in yeah, Miami. like. <laughs> Like Orlando's like four hours away. That's not, that's yeah, not, Orlando's there. basically another world compared to Miami. I can tell yeah, you that. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I was there a few months ago. It was cool, right? Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna spend the rest of this cash shitting on Orlando. <laughs> I could, but I won't. So <laughs> I, I'll, I'll leave it at that. I so, they got enough going on. Yeah. So. Nice Although, fuck downtown. you, sundown town. Yeah, y'all can stay flooded. Nice background shutter, blazing killer. Set. Oh yeah, he fucking with the PJ uh, LB background. So, uh, uh, but, yeah, that was from the um. We did the eye test live, but I came on there. PJ had the eye test logo, and I ain't see that logo in damn years. So I was like, oh shit! Like, what up, Kang Soon? So let me let me let me do some new shit over here, and then bam, here we go. But I'm gonna see if I can have something different next time. But yeah, Kang Soon, what up, dude? So, uh, but yeah, unless y'all got any questions, there ain't nothing else. Um, that should that should be about it. Uh, yeah. Oh fuck, um, y'all y'all trying to um uh, uh podcast Thursday? Yeah, I'm free. I'm free Thursday. Pilot. Yeah, that works. All right, we'll do a um a who watch who, but we'll do that new um. That new version. I don't think you was there when I explained it to everyone else. Well, uh, refreshing my memory because I don't, even I don't remember. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. yeah. It, I can't remember. I don't, but I don't think you was there. But um, it could have been at a game or some shit. But basically, picture all five of us there. One person, four people out of that five, pick a category that they don't think they can lose with. And I gave examples, like I said, like, like, because I named your example. I was like, King P would say he can't be beat in a Kanye category. Pilot would say he can't be beat in a Dipset category. Rome, Drake, and, and LB, Shutter, um, Tupac. And so that's all, that's each one of our categories. So then what we do now is we all pick a song from that category that we don't think we could lose because we pick in our own category, own song. And now Pat has to pick a, a song from those four categories to see if he could beat us in our best categories. And every time someone goes against it, goes against uh, Pat, the others are the judges. So Pat will go first and be like, I, I got... Uh, a Kanye song against King P's Kanye song. Then the other four of us judge it. Then it goes, then whoever, then it's whatever. Pat goes to Pilot and he's like, yeah, I got my Cameron song. Fuck, what's your Cameron song? They play, then we all judge it. And basically I was calling it the gauntlet because it's really like a gauntlet. Like who, who, who could, like who could sweep that shit? Like who could beat all of us? Type shit. Interesting. And this way, it's like 
it's like the who was who and not the who was who it's like the it's like our battles but evolving now is no longer just a matchup with one of us like everyone's involved i'm with so, it so that that's what we'll do thursday so um just let me know your category and let pat know whatever and we'll we'll go ahead with that shit. Sounds good. Yeah. I'm, I'm with it. So, Plus, why would you drop it the same day as Dragon Ball? I heard yeah, I just, I, I, yeah. The Dragon Ball game I've heard is fire. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I've been fucking hearing. Like, I've been seeing Marky Zero later clips from that shit. I, I haven't gotten it yet because I like I I said, man, I've been busy with a lot of shit. So okay. like I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. Like, to sit down and have time to play these fucking games, like I, yeah. I don't but I'm gonna get it eventually. So uh I'm definitely getting both of them. Yeah. See the the way the Dragon Ball Z game look, and the, how we're excited for that, that's how we should be about it undisputed. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Kang, so yeah, a lot of people have complained about undisputed. I, I haven't really heard that it was ass, uh, but like some people felt like it's more disappointed. Like it could have been better for what we were hyped up for. Like what, what they hyped I've been up hearing this from ass to mid. With a I've few, heard more, I've heard more mid. I've heard more mid than yeah. ass. Yeah, so. more mid though. Yeah, I, I do admit that. Like, I feel like the people who've been saying this ass just suck at boxing games and just suck at boxing in general. But yeah, it's, I've been hearing a lot of mid, and y'all gotta remember, twelve years and you come up with some mid is like. I mean, I honestly, and I'll be honest, I. I had a feeling from the beginning that it, that we were going to get yeah. let down because we were so we were feeling so much for a, right. uh, any boxing game that it was just like I I don't know if, I didn't know if we had reached the point where just any boxing game would do like we it sounds good and then you get some shitty ass game and it's just like <laughs> ah I, yeah because that's the thing like for that long and then we remember like you got to remember our last memory of a, a boxing game was great. Like everybody loved Fight Night Champion, so like if that's your last memory, you kind of want that great rate ranking to stay there, or at least go. If it goes down, it goes down to good. You don't want it to just go go two notches down. It's like okay, average, fucking mid. Like especially when you look at the future and the technology advances and nigga, like. <laughs> We, we should have had a goddamn, like, uh, virtual reality boxing game at this point, nigga. Like, let alone something where you can't fucking clinch. Shit. Oh. So, so I, I could understand niggas saying mid, but now with the Dragon Ball game, nigga, every time I hear about that shit, that, everything's been fire, fire, fire. I ain't hear no mid yet about that shit, so... And why them niggas get good games? See what I mean, saying like, oh my God. like niggas been doing Dragon Ball like a, a thousand games already, and they still get it right. Boxing well, just like, yeah, well, and the, but like this one, people are happy because they brought like with the new Sparking Zero game, it the feel of it is actually like the old Budokai. Yeah, the Budokai, ten I really love. It's got that yeah. same like they brought it back to that. Cause like some of the other things, like the ver the games that they've released like since then, like the Xenoverse and the Fighters, yeah. like Fighters I bought, and I, Fighters was mid I, at best. They tried to do like Fighters was basically them trying to do a Dragon Ball version of Street Fighter, and it wasn't. Yeah, it, it, it was not. Nah, nah I mean yeah, that's like that the old Super Nintendo Dragon Ball games yeah. and shit. Yeah, like. I remember that. I remember that. Now, I mentioned um, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a sports nigga, gaming. You know, you know, that's my that's what I do on PS4, PS5. But the most game, most the game I spent um the most hours on on PS4 was definitely DB Xenoverse One and Two. Like I, I, other than sport games, DBZ Xenoverse, you know the it's kind of like an RPG in a sense. Yeah, Xenoverse you know? two more because Xenoverse yeah. one uh, it was all right. Both Xenoverse were pretty cool. I mean, I, yeah, but I just spent a lot of time, you know, both the, you know, both of the, they were dope games. You know what I'm saying? They're really dope games. I haven't played them in so long, though, but no, they're coming out with another Xenoverse supposedly, hopefully. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, you know, I, but I'm, new, I'm on PS5. PS5 ain't have one yet, so you know. Nine, nine. Uh, but I, 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 you I, see I, what I, you're I, saying, though, King Pete? They, they took something that 
if it's not broke, don't fix it. They took something that they know they work and then up the graphics because graphically aesthetic wise, this shit looks amazing. Kang Sung said, I thought Fighters was more like Marvel versus Capcom. That's an app comparison too. Yeah. But it wasn't good. It all comes down from like Street Fighter. Like. Yeah, but it was the problem was either way, Marvel vs. Capcom, Street Fighters, it wasn't good. So that's really what <laughs> no, that's the main thing. It doesn't matter what you try to model it after. If the shit's not good, the shit's not good. So that's like that one game um back in the day. Um not too back in the day. Um it, you know it had like all the damn Shonen niggas in it. Um it was hyped up, it was supposed to be good, but it just ended up being mid. But they had like Dragon Ball, One Piece, all the like bleeds. I don't remember. Um, god damn, um, is it Fighting Force or Fight Force or some shit force or, um, I know it's, it's behind me in, like, the dresser, like, I had to look for it, like, one minute, I know I would find it and be like, oh, it's this, like, but, Fighters or some shit where, it's like the three main niggas, like, you, I know King P knows the fuck I'm talking about, but that shit was so fucking mid, yo. Now you got me. Jump Force, that. yes, Kang Song, yeah, yeah. What is it? King fucking Kang Song, oh, salute. That, oh, Jump Force, that yeah, was... Jump Force, like that shit was supposed to be fired. Like that shit, oh, was that, so... that bullshit, yeah, nah, so bullshit. fucking mid, bro. That shit was, right. that was uh, so yeah, I so know. much potential. So yeah, like, uh, yeah. I think we've, uh, yeah, well, yeah, we done. We ain't nothing else to talk about. We done. Any, you didn't clean it out. Any any final thoughts, pilot? Going once. No, I'm good, man. I'm good. Shouts out. You know, we, we did it. You know, we shouts out to the DBZ NY Twitter uh, meme that was funny as hell. You know. Oh sorry. my god! <laughs> so getting his brain in arc. Fucking funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legend, so fucking funny. <laughs> all the yeah. I'm trying to remember. Yeah. I don't even remember which. I'm trying to pick my favorite one. But all of them were. A lot of oh, them are yeah. so fucking funny. My <laughs> one of my favorites was my boy Lord of the Flies was like when the Saiyans pull up to Planet Tuffle and it was like Nas and DMX in belly with the however do you want it shit. That shit had me fucking die. <laughs> Somebody did one oh, where it was man. like Turles, Turles would be like, I know Saiyan, I Dominican. I'm like, yo. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That that me <laughs> that mean been killing it like real yeah. shit. Yeah, it's just so many variations. Like a lot of the Vegeta ones been like 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 fire. Like yeah, with uh, the <laughs> what uh what Goku says to uh Vegeta every time. <laughs> yeah. But it's like you see it like I, I think one was like I think DMX from uh, it was chewing out Nas or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Or when they would do the fucking uh, paid in full ones. Like, yeah. <laughs> you be all right. You, t- you tougher. Right. You get the the Mini Force ones was funny too, saying like, yeah. or the, the ones where they have like niggas on the subway dancing and oh, they're yeah. like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or you going home and you see the Mini Force. Oh, yeah. Or the, 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 main, the Mace one with trucks. Like, those are for little niggas. We no, not we're not your little niggas. niggas. We're not your little niggas. niggas. We're not your little niggas. No. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Oh, man. Yeah. No, but shouts out to, you know, the, you know we're talking about DBZ. But shouts out, it's going to be some good boxing. Chris Colbert's back tomorrow on Pro Box. It's been a minute. Oh, fuck, yeah. You were you were my good. Thank you. Thank you so yeah, much for reminding me. Appreciate it. You know what I mean? And, um, that's all I got. Shouts out to, you know, we did it three the hard way, and that's all I got, man. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> but that, it's a great movie. If you like uh, your black exploitation movies, uh, three the hard way's classic with, uh, with, uh, um, uh, Jim Kelly, uh, Fred Williamson, and Jim Brown. Yeah, yeah. But oh yeah, uh, y'all, y'all stay tuned. We'll be back here this Thursday. Hopefully, we have everyone. We'll have a music show. We gonna kill it. Feel like we ain't had a whole gang for a good minute, but we've been having these like spinoff killing shit, nigga. You see, we got the the Reds on today, nigga. You know what it do, nigga. Um, shout out to Miss Seven O Two. She invited me as a guest on her uh, podcast channel uh, next Friday. So uh, 
I'll do the. I'll post up the time, and you know we'll promote it and shit. So man, yeah, love, respect. We'll, we'll tweet it. We'll, we'll tweet it out and anything. For sure. Yeah, we'll tweet it out. So 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 that's gonna be October twenty fifth. But uh, yeah, we'll let y'all know more about that later. So other than that, I'm good. Uh, just check out more about shit. You'll see us on Twitter, Ring Gang, all that. YouTube got more training video, all that shit on the way. Music. Uh, Sample Kings forever. Uh, trying to drop that in uh, November next month. So yeah, shout out Slant Arky. Yeah, I ain't got really much more to say. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the gang. Yeah, there's only three of us, but you know sometimes that's good because then when we all come together, it's like fucking Voltron. Or like we come together like the Avengers. Like so, it's, it's the Rock. <laughs> yeah, we got like is that the Cam Bleak and uh, Seagull track. And then, and then eventually we just bring them all together. Oh, then we yeah, go right, yeah. cost the, money the, gonna be R-O-C? back. Everybody gonna be back. So the, the ROC joint, right? Oh, come on, yeah. With yeah. So the ring gang, the ring gang. It's like the uh, dynasty album. Like we yeah. can have a track. Yeah, we can have the track with some of us, only two people, three people. But then that one track where it's like five of us. <laughs> it's like, I host. yeah, yo, fuck, you mentioned that. Yeah, y'all gotta get on this nigga prolific. See what's good, um, with the goddamn cartoon, like the anime shit. Like, I think you did your voice, like, like, I'm like, yeah, I'll... Cause when you said all of us, I'm like, yeah, that is the shit with all of us. Like, yeah, yeah, y'all been reminding me of shit. Yeah, yeah, let me get on that. So, yeah, yeah no doubt. But, uh, I mean, that's all we got for tonight. So, you know, appreciate anybody, everybody for checking us out. You know where to find us at ringgangradio.com. Uh, follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Spotmat- Spotmatic. We everywhere. Spotify. You know what I'm saying? So, we got more content coming. But uh, that's all we got for tonight. So, for myself, King T, Bodega P, for uh, Conscious Pilot, and for LB Shutterworth, the GOAT Artist. Another episode of Real Talk. Shit's real. We talk about it. So until next time, peace.